it is currently 5 a.m. in the morning here in Kyoto and I have gotten up early to go see one of the most famous places in all of Japan and that is the Fukushima Igaru Gates. Might be pronouncing that wrong, but if you don't know what these are, these are the famous red arches that kind of go on forever. And it's a super popular and touristy place and I'm currently biking there. It's like a 35, 40 minute bike ride. And the goal is to get there before anybody else arrives and snap off a few photos without anybody else in the background. Alright guys, we just got here. You can see the red arches behind me. Uh, it's about 6 a.m. and there's already some people kind of walking around, so I'm not the first person here. But before any more tourists get here, let's get inside and go exploring. Okay, I think I'm at the start of the, the gates here. And it's kind of become, I'm out of breath because it's kind of become a race to these things because there's like stacks and stacks of tourists that just arrived in this in this bus. But look at how cool that is right there. Okay, before anybody else climbs up these steps behind me and gets here, let's get a few photos. See, those are all the tourists we're talking about and they're right behind me. Look at how insanely cool that is. I can't remember how many gates they hear, but it's like thousands upon thousands of these things that just lined up forever. So I'm gonna stop talking to you guys for a little bit, snap a few photos, and I'll check in with you once I'm done. Holy cow guys, this place is incredibly beautiful. And I'm kind of whispering because it's just super quiet and peaceful here. They have the forest behind me with the birds chirping and it's already, well it's only like 6.45, seven o'clock-ish and it's getting hard to find a picture without someone in the way. So if you wanna come here, you wanna get the good picture, you gotta get up early. And you gotta be willing to climb some stairs because, whew. There's lots of stairs. <laughs> Holy cow, guys. I think I might have found one of the best stretches of gates in the entire park. Uh, so pro tip, if you ever come here, don't spend too much time at the arches at the base because most tourists, they come here, take the photo, and then they leave. They don't spend the time to hike up the mountain where there are huge stretches of these gates just like this. And as you can tell, I'm the only one up here. So if you ever come here, spend the time, hike a little bit farther, it's gonna be well worth it. I did it. I made it to the top where the hike ended with a small and peaceful cemetery. Walking up, I was the only one up there and alone to admire the hundreds of mini red gates that drape over and adorn the graves and offerings, each red gate representing a wish. As if watching over the shrine, fox statues appear all throughout the park and are seen as messengers. I headed back down the mountain, but by now it was exactly 8.38 a.m. And as you can see, towards the top, there are still very few people. But, as I got farther and farther down, that quickly changed. Alright guys, we're back down at the bottom, and even the difference between 8.30 and 9 o'clock is night and day. As you can see in the background, it is packed here already, so I'm super glad I got here early. But my battery is about to die, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of quick episode. I have a ton of cool stuff coming up from Japan like this, so if you want to see future videos, make sure you click the subscribe button. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button. Uh, but on that note, the show is over, vlog is done. I will see you guys in the next video.